Uh, it's been a while since we've done a painting, and this one I'm going to start off a series of the um, SEC football so we can all get ready for our tailgating displays. So the very first one that I'm going to do is actually Ole Miss, uh, University of Mississippi. That's my alma mater where I've got my undergraduate degree. So um, I like this particular one because you can really apply it to any school. You just choose the football helmet and the colors that go with your particular school and then add whatever um, chant that you guys do. Uh, for us, it's hotty toddy. So uh, we're going to start with Ole Miss. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, Mars Black, Blizzard and Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, uh, Cobalt Blue, and Zinc Mixing White, as well as a large flat brush, a small little one for some of the details, and then um, a medium flat brush. Then just get your little dollops out of uh, acrylic paint plus some water, and you are all set and ready to start painting. Okay, and the canvas that I have, I'm actually reusing a canvas. This is a 10 by 10 square. The original draft that I did is actually on 90 pound paper. It's a mixed media paper, so I can put on the acrylics and, and not waste a uh, canvas on a design concept. I actually went through two designs to get to this one that I liked. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our outline of the football helmet. So you will need your ultramarine blue, and your big flat brush, the big one. Right, let's get some water on it. And what we're gonna do is just kind of wipe some of the water off. And then we're going to grab some of the ultramarine blue, which is the dark blue. Okay, and I'm gonna lay in my football helmet. Okay, so just go ahead and lay in the base color for that and you just get more water and more paint. Get a little more water. Once it starts getting a little bit too thick and too hard to move around, just wet your brush a little bit more and bring it in there. We're just laying it in. Okay. Alright, so we're going to let that dry just a little bit and go ahead and put in our background. For the background, we're going to use that alizarin crimson. And again, dry, wet your brush. Dry it off just a little bit. And for me, it doesn't matter if I get the, the, all the color out because one of the things about this painting, it's very loose. And so you, you can intermingle the colors and it really helps define the design. If I wanted it perfect, I would take a picture. I want it painterly. So I'm going to use you know, big strokes and just block it in there. And I just took the alizarin crimson and I'm just making some X's. I don't care if I go over the um, helmet. To me that adds a little bit more dimension to it. I'm going to grab some more red. Another neat little trick to uh, adding dimension to your paintings is whatever your background color is, bring some of it into your foreground. So if your football helmet is the foreground, take some of that red and bring it in. It really uh, har har <laughs> makes uh, the painting more harmonious. I'll spit it out there in a minute. Okay, so uh, add in your football helmet and your background. We'll pause there. Okay, so now to our background, we're going to add a little bit more dimension. You notice that um, on the bottom of this, right through here, there's a kind of like a table. 
So I'm going to add in a little bit of table. And so what I did is used some of the um, ultramarine blue, which is the dark one, and then some of the uh, alizarin crimson. So I'm just going to X that in, kind of draw a little line here, and just X it in. You want to make your line not in the middle of your painting, but more towards the bottom, so that um, you, you never want a line in the middle of your paintings. It's a helps with design. Okay, and I'm just going to X that in and think about where your shadows might be. You know, you're going to have a hard line underneath it. The football actually sits. And maybe I want some light to come through where the helmet was sitting, right there. And again, I don't care if I'm going over the football helmet. I'm going to come back and get that. So some blue and a alizarin crimson. And just exit in. A little more harmony to your painting. Let's go ahead and take some of that ultramarine blue and we're going to add it up in here. So that way it really pulls your eyes in and makes you focus on the helmet. So again, I'm going to take that ultramarine blue and add it up here. I'm going to grab some of the red too. I didn't wash my brush off, I just added it in so that it starts to mix and really kind of darken up. If I don't like that and I want to lighten it up a little bit, I can do that uh, with a little bit of the white mixing white. Look at that. Really kind of adds a little something to it. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. Looks a little bit like a hot mess so far, but it'll get there, trust me. <laughs> All right, you guys work on refining your background a little bit, and then we'll come back and we'll start working on our helmet. Okay. So while we're waiting for the background to dry, we are going to focus on defining our football helmet. And that includes the, the face mask over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some of the Mars Black. I'm still using my big paintbrush. I like the big one. Um, Alright, so this is going to require a little bit of a steady hand and some direction. You just want to follow the pattern as best you can. Now I'm going to switch, it, switch to the smaller brush. I have myself the medium sized brush here. I'm going to wet that. And some of the Mars black. I'm going to add in a squiggle line. Stick with that Mars Black. I'm going to wash that off and switch back to the big brush. Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to go with the Ultramarine. We're going to darken this up a little bit. I want to leave some of the under painting here so that we have our highlight. So I'm going to really focus the Ultramarine blue on the darker areas around through here. 
I'm going to grab the ultramarine. Okay. And start defining this a little bit more. Okay, let me get that little helmet ear hole in there. Okay, I'll we'll end up coming back and putting black in that. All right, now let's grab some of that black. I have a little bit of the black and the blue on my brush, and I'm going to go focus on the areas where I think things would be the darkest based on where the shadow is. I mean, based on where the highlight is. And if your paint gets a little too hard to move around, get some water on your brush. Add in the ear hole. I'm going to go ahead and mix some of this into the bottom here. So I get a little more, and I'm just putting in the um, black down in the bottom just to add a little bit more dimension to our table. So our focus is not on the table. There we go, that's better. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, I've got this nice red stripe in my Ole Miss helmet here. Let's see, you see that? A little bit of a red stripe. So if you're doing another team, add that team color in. So it's all still kind of wet, which is good, because I don't want it to be, you know, very called out and specific. I just want a hint of it. Make it interesting. There we go. Now I'm going to still uh, carry on with that red. So whatever your team color is there, carry it through the rest of the helmet. Just kind of bring it, bring it in there. Make it interesting. And your helmet should be fairly wet, especially where the black is. So you want to move pretty quickly and bring that in. If it's not real wet, then just grab the opposite color. Like for me, it's the blue. And let's just mix, it, mix that in there. Mix it around. There we go. And I notice I kind of add a little more red. It's kind of a highlight because we got our highlighted area around here. So I added a brighter red, well, just thicker red really on onto the helmet. Okay. I'm 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, bottom part of the helmet. It's um, a little white thing. So I'm going to use some of the mixing white because I still want it to pick up some of the colors that I've been using. So the mixing white, it's not a nice pure white, so it's going to really kind of bring in those other colors nicely. Just keep your brush strokes loose. You're not trying to make it look perfect. You don't want it perfect, you just take a picture. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some of the ultramarine blue too. And I'm going to kind of bring that in there to dull down the white. Let's just kind of carry that through in some areas that we might see highlights. Okay, grab some of your cobalt blue and your mixing white. Mix those up a little bit on your palette. We're going to add in a couple little highlights here. All right, and then I'm going to go back in and kind of define my ear hole. For this, you want to use the medium size brush, which is this one, medium flathead. And again, I'm going to grab some of that mixing white and a touch of the black to make a nice gray. And I'm just going to go very carefully in here and add my ear holes. And what I'm doing is taking one side of the brush with the black and the other side of the brush with the white and just kind of going back and forth with it to get the gray and really kind of mixing it on my palette. If I make a mistake like that, it's no big deal. I'm just going to take it and move it around because I've been using the black and blend it in a little bit. Let me grab a little more black and really darken that up on the inside. Okay, some of the mixing white and the black again. You get a nice gray. And we're going to add some of the highlights on the helmet, the mask. So let's see. Whoop, got a nice gobble white there. Okay, let's go ahead and take some of the more of the mixing white and I'm just going to go through here and add a little more highlights. Where I want them. Okay. So I'm switching back to the blue brush because what I'm not liking about this so far is there's a whole lot of bright blue through here um, and I, I like this little interesting piece right here so I want to do that. I'm going to go back in and grab some of the ultramarine blue and a little bit of the cobalt blue and add that in there. Now let's darken this up a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing the alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue and a touch of black. And I'm going to darken this up. Just play with the colors. If you don't like it, you can always redo it. You know? That's what I love about acrylics. They dry super quick. Nice hard edge kind of gives it the three-dimensional look. Hard edge is when it doesn't blend into the background. Like, see, this is a soft edge here. It really kind of blends in, in the background. I give it a hard edge up here, and then the opposite area, a uh, hard edge, and it gives it more of a 3D look.
Alright, so you guys play with your helmet and just get it how you're happy with it. It helps to stand up and walk away from it for a little bit. If you start getting a little bit frustrated, I swear it'll look better in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add my letters in. I'm gonna use the medium sized brush. And for this, we finally get to use our titanium white. The titanium white is a much thicker white, so you're gonna need a little bit of water to kind of water it down a little bit. And so you'll notice it really sticks to your brush really well, whereas the mixing white really mix with, mixes with everything. So let me get this kind of squared away. And I'm just gonna, in my own, own handwriting, Right, all this. And then hi Tony. If you need to go back through with your smaller brush to kind of refine it a little bit, that's when the tiny one comes in handy. Tiny, tiny. And again, just take the titanium white. And we're gonna kind of brighten up a couple little areas so you can actually see what it says. All right, now if I want to, with that um, titanium white, I can go through and kind of brighten up some of the highlights. All right, and then with a really wet, thin brush, I'm gonna get off all of the white. And then I'm going to take, again, a really wet, thin brush, grab the black, and then sign it. And that's all she wrote, folks. So next week I'm going to do, um, or next time I'm going to do War Eagle and uh, for Auburn. That's my second alma mater where I got my master's degree. And then we'll move on to LSU and Alabama and some of the other SEC states. Thanks, guys, and I hope you do it. And if you do do it, please, please, please send me pictures. I love to see what you guys actually done. I've seen several of the cupcakes and one of the pancakes, and just keep them coming. Love it. Thanks, guys.